Hi everyone, confession time. My name is Alice and I am about to go and have a lot of filler put into my face, injected all over my face, well we'll see exactly where, and I thought I should do a bit of chat before going to do this about why and what might be happening and what I, I mean I know if I look at my face on the camera there it looks it looks fine doesn't it it's it's perfectly all right I don't need a huge amount of work done and as with other areas of life there are trends when it comes to fillers and a long time ago when fillers started off in the late 90s around 2000 um, what they were used for was for filling in lines you take a line say the nose to mouth line here and inject along that to fill it up um, the next development of fillers about 10 years ago everybody was using them for volumizing or replacing lost volume in the face so when the, the face begins to collapse with age the lips get thinner uh, the cheeks pads lose their volume you can put a little bit of volume back in there and prop them up um, we all know what it looks like when this kind of work goes wrong you get the kind of cheeks that are all overinflated that squeeze up the eyes lips that project too far forward it all looks unrealistic and fake and that's absolutely what we don't want i have had a good deal of filler over the last 10 years but i tend to have it in tiny bits a little bit here which helps to lift up the whole um, side of the cheek and get rid of the nose to mouth line um, i have it in my lips and in my lips it's more of a shape maintenance rather than a an enlarging rather than an augmentation. Um, I have a little bit in the sides of the mouth here to prop them up um, and I've, that's, that's sort of what I've had done and that's been enough and all good practitioners always take the view that they look at the face as a whole so rather than just propping up one element or enhancing one feature they want to bring the whole thing into balance to make it look better and the latest way of doing that is to use really quite a lot of filler. It's more about giving support under the, the tissues. It's more about filling in hollows like you get in the temples. Uh, so whereas practitioners who would have used one or two millilitres in little spots all over the face before are now using 12, 15, maybe even 20 millilitres. Now that sounds an awful lot. I mean, 12 mil is two big teaspoons. So that is quite a bit. Uh, but spread all over the face, um, we'll see. Anyway, come with me and see what happens. Okay, so here I am in Harley Street, about to head in to the fly clinic here behind me. And I know I was very blasé yesterday about all this work I'm about to have done on my face, but now I'm a bit, I'm a bit nervous, I have to say. So uh, come with me, we'll see how it goes. I'm here to see Dr. Tapan Patel, who's a brilliant injector, who trains lots of other doctors in how to do all this. And I've known him for years, so I know I'm in good hands. Is you're going to treat? Mm -hmm. um, can you can you talk me through while you're while yeah. you're marking we're up? We're going to start off temples. by we're starting off with the temples because mm. as we lose a bit of volume in the temple, uh, what we notice we get a bit of sagging of the brow. Yeah. By uh -huh. supporting the temple, we can often get a bit of Brilliant. lift in this region. The second thing you already bless with great um, cheekbones, but we're going to take you. advantage of that by using a bit of product on the cheekbones just to lift the mid face okay. here Brilliant. Uh, and give a bit of support yeah. uh, posteriorly because what that does is it improves the slight degree of heaviness that we've got down here. Yeah, yes. okay. That old nose to mouth line. You got it. Mm. And then, so we'll spend the first part of the session treating the temple and mm. then, then just the cheekbone. Once right. I've done that, I might leave the front part of the cheek because already you've got a nice fullness there, but you mm -hmm. are slightly fuller on this side than the other. So True. a little bit of asymmetry. So we may balance that out by just treating on this side only. Great. And then I'm going to move down to the lower face to treat mm. the chin and give that some support. And in doing so, my you've already got a nice jawline, but I want to... But what know, I see is when I drop it, exactly. I see all this patching bit around here. Uh, and that's yeah. the point that, you know, mm. sometimes we only treat um, for the still photo, but patients mm. um, animate. So that's the point. We want to make sure that we give you um, an improvement in all the different animations that you do by just giving you the structural support. Fab. Thank you. All righty. Okay, so this is about one hour after we've finished the injections. I've got home. Um, I'm absolutely amazed to find that I don't look uh, freakishly done, distorted. Um, 
my chin is where the most work has gone on and that that is as uh, Dr Patel said quite quite high impact I can see quite a change there he's strengthened it he's smoothed it out um, I've also had injections along my jawline to um, to make that a cleaner line I've had injections in the temple up here to help lift this bit of the eyebrow a fraction um, I've had them in the cheeks in several different places to bring up um, this angle of the cheeks you can see it there on the sideways and where else um, my lips um, my lips is just very a uh, gentle bit of hydration so that's sort of right under the surface of the skin in the lip um, done with the cannula and um, I said a lot of work a lot of work around here and I think that's about it again temples cheeks less on this side than this to try and even them up and in the chin as well because it's asymmetric it tends to be more bulged over towards that side he's done a bit more on this side again to even it up but you know I thought there would be bruises I thought there would be swelling I thought there would be redness and apart from where I've been rubbing the chin just now it's all looking absolutely fine so this is afterwards um, a week well nine days after that treatment session to talk about how my face is looking now so I've got no makeup on scrape my hair back and to talk about what I had done I have filmed lots of clips from the actual treatment itself and I will put those at the end of the video because I know that there will be people watching who might be interested in this but might not actually want to see the needles burrowing around under my skin. Um, so what I had done was almost a milliliter of a filler of Juvederm Voluma which is quite a thick um, hyaluronic acid gel so it's quite good for giving structural support under the skin um, in either side here. About um, between my cheeks I think it was two and a half mil, I'll put all this in the details lower down, um, and that went into the outer cheek and the mid cheek on each side, a bit more on this side because this side is um, less uh, full than that side so to get a bit more symmetry and then under the chin he put a sort of a rectangular bar of filler either side here and three points in the pre-gel sulcus which is this bit under here and then a milliliter either side on the point of the jaw to strengthen the jaw so it was 10 mils of filler 10 syringes in all which sounds an awful lot and um, and, and it's quite expensive I mean this would be £4,000 all in, give or take a fiver, for this treatment. Um, but the interesting thing is the way that doctors are now using so much more filler to get a more natural result, because um, it always used to be less is more when it came to filler, but the thinking has changed just in the past few months. Um, the doctors at the, the sort of the top of the food chain when it comes to disseminating these ideas about filler and about beautifying, restoring, rebalancing the face, they are using more product in order to give overall softness because as they point out, there's no point in just having one bit done and not the others when maybe, certainly in a face that's in its 50s, you're gonna need quite a lot of um, restoration to get back to where you would like to be. Oh, he also did um, filler in my lips, but not um, not a volumizing filler. This was Juvederm's Volite, which is a really runny hyaluronic acid gel, which is usually used for just under the skin to hydrate beneath the skin. And he did that with a cannula, which is like a blunt needle. You have to make a little hole, and then the cannula goes in through the needle hole um, around the edge of the lips, really strange sensation because because um, it's blunt it sort of burrows through the tissues but more gently than a, a needle would do because a needle would stab through things and a cannula just feels its way through and then sort of flooded the area each side so it's like having um, hydration beneath the skin of the lips and that's been really nice because I've got enough lip volume but I haven't got 
is the hydration in there. <clears throat> and if you do watch the video that's coming up now, you will see this is not a painful experience. I had no numbing cream, no painkillers, just a bit of ice on the area that's going to be injected that reduces the possibility of bruising because it shrinks blood vessels and whatever. Anyway, I, I ended up without a single bruise you can see on the, the pictures. Um, and also Voluma, the filler, has lidocaine in it. So as it goes into the skin, it numbs as it goes. But um, fillers always used to be a really big deal in the past, when particularly in the lips. I have always had some sort of anaesthetic in the lips, I think, or some kind of one of those vibrating devices like the new vibe that, that distracts you while the injections are being done. But this time, no distractions, no, no pain, um, really remarkable. Another thing that I should point out here is I had a lot of treatment in one session and Dr. Patel says he wouldn't normally do that much in one go. He would split it up into two or three sessions um, to spread the cost, to spread the um, intensity of the injections, to spread having to sit there and be injected for, it, it took about 90 minutes in the end on me. That was partly because we had a photographer there who was taking pictures the whole way through as well. So obviously that slowed it down because we had to pose up for shots as well as having the actual shots done during treatment. Um, so it's quite a long time. And um, if, if you're an old hand at doing um, injections, which I am, um, then it's fine, you can get through it, but you wouldn't normally be expected to go through that much in one go. Anyway, I am very pleased with the results. As you can see, it all looks pretty normal. I had, um, you know, my lips swelled up the next day, just a little bit overnight, that had gone in 24 hours. I had a swelling on the jawline here, which came up after about three or four days and has gone back down again. Um, otherwise, you know, no bruising, no swelling. It's all that bit um, more symmetrical, the cheeks are that bit fuller, which has pulled out the nose and mouth lines a bit. Um, injecting in the temples fractionally puts up the tails of the eyebrow. Um, strengthening the chin means that when I look down it's not doing that awful patching thing that it was before. So uh, this is all really exciting. Looks great and I haven't got a bad case of pillow face which I think and the one other thing I really should say is that it's so important if you are going to think about doing fillers to go to somebody who has a great reputation and a lot of experience and who uses a really safe and well accredited brand of fillers because there's a real lack of regulation in the UK so anybody can inject anybody else with anything. That is perfectly legal over here and that is terrible and it needs to change. It will change, it is beginning to change gradually but for now um, it is really vital you find somebody who knows what they're doing and that you see what kind of work they do, see some before and afters, maybe speak to previous patients that they've worked on, um, so you know what you're getting into because there can be all sorts of problems with fillers if um, the practitioner injects into a blood vessel, you can get necrosis where the tissue dies off or it can cause blindness, um, really things you don't even want to be contemplating, you know, it, the filler can become encapsulated, it can uh, cause all sorts of problems even later down the line, which is why you need uh, the sort of fillers that have been endlessly tested and approved by the FDA rather than just the vast number that you can find in the UK market at the moment. And um, do your homework before you go and have a treatment like this um, so that that will minimise the risk of anything going wrong. But so that was my major face refresh with filler. I will put the details of what was done down below and there's video coming up of the treatment showing which bits where were injected and how they were done. But if you don't want to watch those, stop now. I'll give you a few seconds to switch off. Hope you enjoyed that. If you've got any questions, stick them down below or ping them through or an email and I'll get back to you. Okay, if you don't want to see the injections, stop watching now. So, let's put the hair. And the products have anaesthetic in them, don't That's they? That's right, yeah. So, the there's the scratch as it goes in, but then yeah. all I can feel is the little bit of pressure. That's right, and you know, 
I think one of the tricks is, as we inject nice and slowly, it's more comfortable for you. Mm -hmm. It's better for me because I can see the changes that are happening. It also gives a time for the anesthetic in the product to start having its effect. So what you'll probably notice is that now, by this stage, that anesthetic's already started to numb up the area. So mm. you might feel a bit of pressure. There shouldn't be any sort but of sharp no sensation. Absolutely no pain, which is great. great. I was at the dentist yesterday. That was far worse. Yeah. So this is just bringing the left cheek back up to the same Correct. volume as the other one, because there's a bit less volume on this side Yeah, anyway. we spotted this was a little bit more deflated, mm -hmm. so we just want to match them up so you get a little bit more symmetry. Okay. We don't need to get 100% symmetry, no, sure. no face is 100% symmetrical from the left to the right, mm -hmm. and in fact, if people are very symmetrical, it can start looking a bit creepy, so yeah. After all that, <laughs> I'll catch you in a minute, son. And this just turns up that bit of the jawline. That's it? right. Sharpens it out. My chin needed a lot of firming up. My lips didn't need more volume, but they were very dry. So Dr. P used Juvederm Volite, which is a really runny sort of filler, to hydrate them from the inside. <laughs> 